be better. Um, so if you are new today, um, today we're doing a mini recital. We have a three week rhythm of new songs, um, learning them during two weeks. And on, on week three, we're doing a mini recital together where Claire and I do a solo each and we, we perform the songs together that we've learned. So today um, we have a Hildegard that we did two weeks ago and a Sephardic song. Um, so I would like to just uh, go over the Hildegard with you before we uh, before we do the, our concert. So we'll try and start punctually today at quarter past 11. And also I'd like to say today, the solos are special. We did a competition um, for um, providing us with a melody for the song called Eno Sagrado en Vigo by Martin Kodash, a song cycle that we covered in our tune tag. It's, an, it's a song cycle um, from the Middle Ages uh, from Spain. And uh, there's one song, it's, it's seven songs in total and one, um, the melody is lost. So we asked participants um, here to, to come up with a melody and we had a winner, which um, you, you can see, I don't know which date, it was sometime a week or so ago, but we had runner, runner ups and today we're covering two of them and in our next recital, two more. So you will hear this, this poem, Eno Sagrada en Vigo, in two different versions today in the solos that Claire and I will do. So um, before, uh, I think that's enough for now. Let's, let's just run over the, the Hildegard again. Um, assuming you all got the score there, I will do it slowly um, so that there's no doubt about anything. And when we do it together in a minute, uh, we should try and be free and not try to be rigidly um, doing every note exactly the same. Uh, let's try and enjoy it and, and make music. So um, I will just go through it. To, now for now, I go through it slowly and evenly. So, so just to that all the notes are clear. Here we go. This is the first note. Stu and studium divinitatis in laudibus excelsis osculum patis ursula So um, we will do it uh, later, a bit more feeling the music and um, syllables that are at the end, like divinitatis, we, we make it lighter. And, and um, so uh, I hope you can follow me well with that. Um, I think that that should be it. I, I will just do the beat. Let's just do the first um, line uh, until excelsis. In a, in a more free way, just uh, from, stu from studium until excelsis. So here's the first note. Stu and studium divinitatis in laudibus Great. So that's kind of how we're going to do it later. I hope that's all right. If you're totally new, you might find it hard. Try to follow as, as much as you can. And um, now we're going to have a look at the Sephardic song, El Rey de Francia. Um, and 
I need to change half for that. Right, so um, we tried it in three different keys. For today, let's stick with the medium one that will hopefully work for everyone. Um, so uh, I will do the first verse uh, slowly so that, that we know exactly what's going on. We will, in the end, this is more or less the tempo, but for now, let's just do freely verse one. Once more. You can do, if you feel very comfortable with it, do. So you can add a little ornament if you feel um, very comfortable with it. So uh, I will do it now without ornament, um, but you can obviously add anything like that um, when we do it together. So once more. So once more that one, that is the only one that you might find hard. Let's do it in the, uh, this speed now, the, uh, verse 2. La mas chica de ellas, pastidora zia, labrando, labrando. So I had wrong keys here, so that threw me for a moment. There is the question of how much space do we leave between the phrases? So I don't want you to um, wonder, oh, are we coming in or not? So we should make a decision now that we are going to not have breaks in between. So I, I, I show you what I mean by now doing verse three slowly, but in that way that we are going to do it, which will be no waiting. Okay, I, I, I will show you what I mean. It goes like this, un sue, uh, su madre. Let's, let's do that verse three that starts with su madre. One, two, three. Su madre que la vía, a Harvard la quería, no majar ves mi madre, ni majar va. So I hope that's clear because I did, I do sometimes, so if we did it in a concert and with just one person accompanying, they would see what, what I would be doing and I would sometimes take time in between phrases. But I don't want people to think, oh, are we coming in or not? So that's why I think we should try as much as possible. I might at some point by accident wait, but um, have a continuation. So let's do um, that verse one more time, su madre que la vía, a jarvar. If you remember, this is the Aramaic word, which um, is not used anymore in, in contemporary Spanish, but it means to strike. So the, the mother that saw her daughter falling asleep wanted to, to whack her one. And um, then she says, don't, don't, don't strike me, my mother. And then she tells her about the dream. So let's do that verse one more time to be clear of the continuity. So here we are, one, two, three. Su madre 
que la vía arvara quería no más mi madre mi maharvaria so okay so I hope you're going to enjoy that. We have eight verses in total, and it's wonderful. Um, uh, let's, shall we say, that the two verses that describe the dream, which is verse uh, five and six, shall we do them very softly and more mysterious and sort of more dreamlike? So this is where the daughter talks. Mapari a la puerta, vide la luna entera. I, when I went to the door, I saw the full moon, and I went to the window, and I saw the star, uh, Diana. So those, um, let's try and do them differently. And then um, the mother talks back and gives her analysis of the dream. And at the very end, I'm going to the very last sentence, Elijo del Rey tu novio, which is the conclusion of it all, the son of the king, your fiancé, your boyfriend. Um, let's go uh, free there. I will, I will leave the harp. There will be no more of the rhythm and we just do a big ritardando at the end. So I hope you remember that. Um, easy to remember. The dream is soft and at the end, a big ritardando. Okay, I think we are, we are kind of ready. Um, I will give you the order of our um, mini, mini recital now. We will start off with Eno Sagrado en Vigo, written by Michael Bloom, which I will, um, which I will do for you. I, I'm, now, while I'm saying that, I must remember to tune my harp in the right way. We don't want... Okay. So, um, that will be the first song today. Then we will do the Hildegard, Studium Divinitatis is number two. Then Claire will sing another version of Eno Sagrado en Vigo, which she will introduce and tell you about. And then we end everything with El Rey de Francia. Okay, so uh, Claire, anything you want me to announce before we do that or shall we? Sh okay. Let's go for it and we'll announce as we go. Yeah. Let's go for it. We've got more people, so that's nice. Um, Okay, so if everyone is ready, here we are on, um, on the 3rd of July with our, I don't know how many recitals we've done. Look, seems like quite a lot. Um, and here we are, Eno Sagrado en Vigo, um, a song, the oldest song cycle that we know about. Maybe there are older ones, but this is from the 13th century uh, by Martin Kodash, and he wrote uh, the poems, seven of them and six of the melodies and so the missing melody uh, is uh, today we have two versions the first one is by Michael Bloom here we go <laughs> Bailaba corpo pelido amor eh, 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 eh. En vivo no sagrado bailaba corpo delgado Amor, eh, eh, eh. bailaba corpo venido en un cubet amigo. Amor, eh, 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 eh,
corvo de grado que nunca verá amar amor Amigo, ergas no sagrado envío, amor. Eh, 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 eh. Que nunca hubo amado, ergas en Sagrado amor. Eh, eh, eh. Right, bravo, Michael. So um now let me change harp and let's go straight into the hildegard right So the next uh, piece is um, me doing um, another of our uh, competition uh, entries. Um, this time, um, Paul Matheson, who um, also suggested one of our Sephardic pieces that we did in this session uh, a few weeks ago, um, came up with a, a really interesting solution. Because back in the Middle Ages, people borrowed other people's melodies. Um, they weren't too bothered about um, copyright. <laughs> Um, and if you were missing a melody, you just found a, a, a melody that fit, fit the words. And this is exactly what Paul has suggested. So it's a very medieval practice. And he suggested a, a Galician melody. And I've got his email here, which he, which he suggests to explain about it. Um, uh, no, I can't find it. It's a tune associated with the much loved Galician poem, Maria Selina, which I've heard sung by Galician school choirs and by Portuguese and Galician chamber folk divas. So I'm going to try and be a Galician chamber folk diva for you. Uh, <laughs> here we go. But it fits very nicely. Um, so this is uh, that version of Ena Fedrada and Vida, song six in the Martin Kadash. Quite cool. <laughs> In the sagrado indigo, by the corvo velido, by the corvo velido, amore. En vivo no sagrado, by the corvo velido. For the God of the Lord, 
torvo del gado, el nombre amado, el nombre amado, amaré. Thank you very much, Paul, for that suggestion. It's a really lovely melody. Enjoy singing it. That's lovely, Claire. Really beautiful. Suits you very well. Might have to be taken into, into some concert programs. Gorgeous. Um, okay, so we're already on our final song, El Rey de Francia, Sephardic song, um, and a theme that appears quite a bit in Sephardic songs, the, the son of the, the, uh, the son of the king as the boyfriend seems to be something that was in, in quite a few songs, right? Claire, Morena me llaman, uh, which uh, Claire sings at the end of the um, Into the Melting Pot, also mentions the, the son of the king. If he, re if he calls me again, I will go with him, it says. So here we are, um, somebody having a, an interesting dream and the mother who's first angry about the, the girl um, falling asleep and dreaming gives her the interpretation that she will marry um, the son of the king. So, um, verse six, no, verse five and six, we will do a bit softer and at the end we have a big ritardando, like I said, and I will give four in and then we start. Here we go, El Rey de Francia. Francia, tres y ya se día, la una la brava, la otra fusilla, la más chica de ellas, bastido. Labrando, labrando, sueño le caía. Su madre que la había, a Harvard la quería. No majar, ves mi madre, mi majar, varía. Un sueño me soñaba, y di alegría. Sueño soñaba yo voy a soltar la paría la puerta y de la luna entera paría la ventana y de la estrella diana la paría al pozo y de un pilar de oro con tres pacharías 
ricos picando el oro. La luna entera es la tua suegra, la estrella diviana es la tua cuñada. Los tres pasaricos son tus cuñadicos y el pilar de oro. Great. Okay. Thanks, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, short and sweet today. So <laughs> we're actually finishing on time for once. <laughs> I don't think that's ever happened. Okay. So um, what I forgot to mention earlier um, when we did the Hildegard, the um, concert play that Claire has written called Vision, we are going to record um, a performance, I mean, going to film a performance next week. So I'm actually totally excited about that. It will be the first time that Claire and I will actually meet after I don't know how many months, which feels like years, and we will be singing together. So it's totally exciting. And um, this you will see, be able to see this filmed um, performance on the 12th of August. Um, maybe Claire in a minute can tell you more about it. We will do um, an, a short introductory talk um, and we will do a, a mini workshop beforehand. So if you um, like, it will be some, something like quarter of an hour, we will sing something simple together by Hildegard and Claire will explain a little bit something about the play. So this is going to happen on the 12th of August. I hope you can all make it. Um, and there will be other performances in August, which you can all hear about on the website, on, on the social media. Um, the, the schedule of that will come out soon, I think. Claire, anything else you want to add to that? Uh, no, only just that, um, yeah, it's very exciting. We want to involve you in all those performances. So every Wednesday we, for, for about a month, we're going to be streaming something. Um, the, some, of, some of the concerts, some will be concert plays, which will be pre-filmed with our wonderful director, Nick Renton, who is, a, we're so lucky, he's a, a major TV director. He's directed the big Andrew Davis period dramas like Mrs. Gaskell's Wives and Daughters and things. So he's absolutely amazing. So it's brilliant to have him on board and those skills. Um, it's a bit of a journey for us. Boy, is it a journey. Risk assessments coming out of my ears. Um, <laughs> but it's going to be worth it. <laughs> so um, it, it, it's, it's a, a real journey that we're going to be going on next week. So think of us um, on Wednesday and Thursday next week. Um, but yes, yeah, so from the 12th of August, the first will be Vision. And we'd love you to, to be part of that. Um, if you want to come and join us and, and pre-register for, for, for um, singing along for something pre-recorded, we'd love that. And we need to know by next Friday. But also just come along and like this session beforehand, be a chance to sing one of the pieces that you can then sing along with in the film, but you're here as well. So you can kind of be part of the performance is the idea. And then afterwards, there'll be question and answers. And we're also going to do three shows, Ariane and me, um, of music that we've covered in these sessions. So again, those will be completely sing-along concerts um, like this, um, but longer, a bit longer on a Wednesday evening and with a little reminder session beforehand. But all stuff that you kind of know already that we've been going through, because a lot of people have said that they would like to revisit the um, stuff that we've already done. So I think that's, that's everything on that. Do subscribe to us on YouTube if you haven't already done so. Do follow Tune Tag. Um, we've just finished our Hildegard sessions. If you enjoyed singing Hildegard, the last four days have been Hildegard, um, including extracts to give you a taster of the full concert play uh, with wonderful actress Teresa Bannon, who's performed at the RSC many times, and she is our Hildegard, which is exciting. 
Um, and today we kick off with a, a lovely actress called Anna Dimitri, who is playing uh, Beatrice Padilla, the woman Troubadour. Again, we've got another show coming up with her, which we will be filming in August, which will come out in September. So um, it's all happening, really. Um, oh, yeah, any requests as well? If there's anything that you would like us to sing for Tune Tag, we are going to do a request week. We've had one or two already. Uh, which we're going to include and those could be wider so it could be some of the repertoire that we do in these sessions but actually one or two have been actually quite modern or different so if you want to be adventurous and go take a medieval take or on um, almost anything pretty much <laughs> am I really almost. saying almost what am I laying myself open to anyway um so we'll look forward to seeing what you come up with on that um that's it I think is that everything? Yes, and just um, next week we will be doing lullabies again. So we, we will maintain the rhythm of some medieval like um, Hildegard or Libre Verme or maybe Cantiga at some point and then Sephardic and then lullabies. So next week it's lullabies. Um, I hope you can come. And as usual, Ariane will very kindly record it over the weekend. So uh, by early next week, we'll post it on YouTube. If you follow us on YouTube, you'll get an alert. And if not, if you are on our newsletter, you'll get details of that when it goes out usually on Tuesday if I get my act together um if Steph is very organized it's always me who holds it up um or Wednesday so um yeah um, singing do we want to do a last sing out with mics on of El Rey yes El Rey the first oh. verse in a free way so you can hold notes so that um uh, and and we don't have to do it in any rhythm just <laughs> let's let's just do verse one of El Rey and like that we get to hear you a little bit. And if you're going now, have a good week and we'll see you next Friday. We're going to tell you about the filming because we'll be exhausted from it. <laughs> hey. Oh, I got muted. Oh, I think we've got muted. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we, I do that again just to give you the right note. <laughs> Over to you. Thank you. Bye bye, everybody. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Ariane.